Kurt. I'm calling you. I'm in town. Uh, just hoping you're around. I don't know if you're there or what. Pick it up, man. You will not regret it. Hey, Kurt. So you're here? Where are you staying? Yeah. Thanks, the rumors are true. Nah, we didn't want to know. Oh yeah, what you got? Lay it on me. Sure, I could be into that. I could use some time in the woods, absolutely. Yeah, I think that could be cool. Let me just, let me just run it by Tanya. Yeah. I'll call you in 10. Right on. What? Don't ask for my permission. I said I'd run it by you. He wants to check out some hot springs near Estacada, camp out tonight, get an early start tomorrow, be home by noon, I'd say. Look, if it's gonna be a problem, I'll just call him back and tell him I can't go. Hey, you should come too, you're totally welcome. You know that, it'd be fun. Yeah, I'm not exactly up for camping. Hmm. It's probably gonna rain anyway. Day. Look, you're just waiting for me to tell you to go. We know you're going, so I don't know why we have to go through this thing of me letting you off the I'm hook. I'm going to enjoy myself if you're miserable about it. Hugh, how are you? Very good. How are you today? Good, thanks. Uh, I'm calling in. I never could understand why Lyndon Johnson became the champion of the civil rights movement. Uh, at what are you talking about? I mean, the Voting Rights Act was a great thing. It oh, yes, you know, it, it, was the, it was the beginning, literally the beginning of American democracy. I yes, grew up it in a state. It became Listen the foundation to... of the Southern yeah, strategy. He, he said, we've delivered the South to the Republican Party for a long time when he signed the Knight exactly. Brackley. I mean, and is that what you're that. talking about? Yeah. Yes. But okay. he said it with regret. And they he... were all wedge issues. When, when Reagan talked about, when Reagan talked about, he's for states' rights. All it was, he, it was just veiled way of saying he's a racist. When Nixon talked about law and order, that's what he was talking about. He was talking about the, the that, think about this. You had, you had uh, Lee Atwater kicking around when all these guys were devising the Southern strategy, including, including Karl Rove, who's taken the Southern strategy to the next step, and that's to divide us by way of religion. So I don't think you're insane. Bobby, I, I think he was joking when he said you're insane. But Not I, really. And I, <laughs> okay. But Hugh, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you this. I agree with the fact that... May I interject here? Yeah. I didn't call up and assert that Lyndon Johnson did this. I asked the question, but Bobby reacted as if I was asserting it, <laughs> and then he starts calling names. You, uh, right. it, it, was, it was a bad you question. Know. You know, it was a... Bobby, there's no such thing as a bad question. <laughs> now, I yeah. think you know...
Hello? I borrowed a cooler, take it, and a wagon, and a TV. You're looking good. Really? I wish. The feed hasn't sold the house yet? No, not yet, but my days are numbered here. I'm really glad you could come. I, d I didn't know if you could make it on such short notice. Everyone's so busy now. You know, I had a dream about you the other night where you were in like a hospital or something. I don't know, it was really weird, but you were the best thing about it by far. That's cool. How was Ashland? Ashland, amazing. Transformative. I'm at a whole new place now, really. Wow, you really got it all going on. Hell yeah. Where's your shit? It's in the car, I've got the dog too. Really? Why don't we take your ride? What do you think? Because this thing is just a slug in the mountains. Oh. Sure, yeah, I can drive. All right, let's load it up. And the Democrats are sitting on their damn hands. What do you make of that? First of all, the Democrats in Congress have made a tragic mistake, and that is they seem to think that they're a part of the government, you know, yeah. that, that yeah, they're relevant somehow or other, uh, rather than going to the people. We, we, you know, it, opportunity is not just knocking at the door, it's pounding at the door. Yeah. And the, there's the Democratic donkey, you know, sitting there sipping tea, saying, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know if I should get up and answer the door or not. Yeah. Uh, it is there. And, you know, we saw the same thing in last year's presidential election uh, when uh, uh, our party's nominee uh, did not Thanks. pick up uh, the cudgel and take go two after seconds. Uh, the corporate crooks. Oh, that's the leadership home? that doesn't understand that the fight is not about them. It's not a fight for them. It's a fight to hold on to the very soul of democracy Yo. before that democracy is completely yeah. hijacked by the Exxons, by the Coors, by the Murdochs, by Richard Mellon State. It's a fight that we can't win by removing ourselves and standing on the sidelines. Some people say we need a third party. I wish we had a second one. Yeah. And I'm going to fight uh, for that to be the Democratic Party. But I certainly understand people who are hey, up, registering as independents or as libertarians or as green or you know, what a working families party and, and, and other folks uh, because Take our party has not been standing up. And if we do not stand up for working folks, so uh, one good thing about D is that he is trying to put the party back at the grassroots level. Invest money. Does this thing go back any farther? Oh, yeah. Ah. How's your dad? It's all right. You know, all things considered. Last I heard, he was living in a new place. Yeah, right. Yeah. For some reason, he decided at age 70 that he didn't want to be married anymore, so he moved out. Yeah, that's what I heard. Then he ended up with these fucking blood clots on his brain. Oh, fuck. And yeah, they just showed up out of nowhere. He was really weak for a while, nobody knew what to do. Then they dissolved, just went away. <laughs> 
That's heavy. Really uh, put my mom through the ringer. Yeah, I bet. I bet. It's kind of like when an old Eskimo goes off to die alone. Who knows? <laughs> you still have this. Didn't this used to be Noah's? Yeah. Found it behind Kruger's. There's, there's crumbs in there, but you can add it. And then it, it was mine for a while. Man, Mark, you really hold on to shit. Not that I should talk. I've got... I've still got crates of records in the garage at Ankeny Street. Stuff I haven't even listened to in 10 years. I'm gonna have to take the whole load down to SIDS, I think, and see what I can get for it. SIDS is gone, man. No way. The rent got to be too heavy. Now it's a smoothie place. Rejuicination. Oh, no. Yeah, SIDS sells on eBay now. Oh, that makes sense. I should be doing that. Tanya went by on the last day, said the only records left in the bins were our friends. No more SIDS. End of an era.
amazing. Were you catching that? That young soldier got a raw deal. Everybody knows it. Do you know where we're going? Oh, yeah. You! Jacuzzi from downtown. Wait! You take this Bob one. Now you take this one. Now you take this one. These aren't even funny. Back to you, Lucy. Chew it up. Great spot, man. You're gonna love it. I was here two summers ago, totally private, no one around, and most of all, it has this otherworldly peacefulness about it. Uh, you can really think. It sounds awesome. Because you can't, you can't get real quiet anymore. I visited this hot spring in Arizona last summer where no one is allowed to talk at all. Total silence. It was fucking amazing. They want me to come back and work as a chef sometime. Uh, I've got a whole menu worked out for them. Right, I think I read about that place in a magazine. Do you remember Yogi? Sure, he stiffed us on the rent when he left town. <laughs> really? <laughs> I forgot about that. Well, I ran into him in Big Sur last month. We had the most incredible night together. We were out under the stars, dancing to these drums. Everyone was jumping over these huge bonfires. I've never seen anything like it. Everyone there was just so joyful that night. Beautiful women, singing and dancing. I don't know, just a really, really amazing group of people. No shit. Yeah. You should have been there. Mm, I think Yogi got laid. You want to go left? Really? Yeah. Trust me, Mark. Okay. I'm in your hands.
think we're somewhere in this area. Yeah. I got a little space. It's the mother of your child. Oh, thank you. Hey. I have no idea. <laughs> no, it's fine. We just have no idea where we are. No, I mean, we're looking for it. Okay, well, I can't, I can't hear you. I'm gonna have to go. I'll call you, I'll call you when I have a second. Yeah. Alright, well, I love you. I love you. That sign up there is literally blank. We've entered a whole other zone. Far out. Up or down? Up. Dark. What do you think, Kurt? I spotted a turn off where we can camp for the night. Just a few miles back down that road we passed. We can camp there and find the river in the morning. You know how to get there? Yeah, I know how to get there, but you gotta turn around. start in the morning. Looks fine to me. <laughs> Lucy, stay here. to get out of the city. 
forget all this is out here sometimes. No shit. It's not like there's any big difference between the forest and the city, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's all one huge thing now. There's trees in the city and garbage in the forest. What's the big difference, you know? I see what you mean. So are you looking forward to fatherhood? Yeah. Sure, I mean, we're both stretched so thin with work, it's almost impossible to imagine, but you know, it'll have to work itself out. We'll just you know, find another rhythm, do whatever it is people do. So fucking brave, man. <laughs> I've never gotten myself into anything that I couldn't get myself out of. It's just, having a kid is so fucking for real. Yeah. Watch out, Ham's cans. Did you, are you pumping these for me? I pumped it. It's easier to aim with one hand than with two hands. Really? Why do you think on TV they do it with two hands? Uh, everything's about looking cool. But I look pretty cool with one hand, right? See. Two hands is the responsible shooting. One hand is renegade shooting. Yeah, renegade. Well, I'll try lefty. Switch, switch, switch hit shooting. I think one more shot. Let me take one more shot and I'm gonna have it. You know, I was gonna sleep out. That is it cool to sleep in? Sleep yeah. in the tent with you? It's with fun. You. Lucy men, gonna sleep in the tent? It's a two men tent. Two men in a doggy. That's cool. Two men in a doggy tent. That's pretty cool. Sleeping with the dogs, pretty cool. She's a girl. Keeps you warm. Mm hmm. I took some night classes. Anything good? It was all right. Some physics classes. But here's the thing about that is that I knew more than they did. All this quark and stupor string shit, I, I know all about that. It makes sense. And don't get me wrong, I understand it, but that's not the final answer. Wow, you think you understand it? Basically. It's like this, see? Sometimes things look like they don't have any order, and then from a different level, you realize that it does have order. It's like climbing a mountain. Look around, you see trees and rocks and bushes pressing around you, and then you get above the tree line, you see everything you just went through, and it all, like, comes together. You know, you see that it has a shape after all. Sometimes it takes a long time to get high enough to see it, but it's there. It's, it's all about space and time and how it how they change the rules sometimes uh, makes perfect sense to me. It's like two mirrors moving through space and there's a single atom moving between them. Fuck. I forget. Whatever. But I, I, the thing is, is I get it. I get it on a fundamental level. The thing is, is that I have my own theory. Oh yeah? Yeah. It's that the universe is falling, man. That's what explains it all. The entire universe is in the shape of a falling tear dropping down through space. I'm telling you, man, 
I don't know how it happened, but that's just the way that it works. It's this tear, it's been dropping now forever. It just doesn't stop. So did you tell them that, your theory about the tear-shaped universe? Did I tell them? Now who the hell am I? They don't care about my theory. It doesn't mean shit to them. I don't have any numbers for it. I miss you, Mark. I miss you really, really bad. I want us to be real friends again. There's something between us and I don't like it. I want it to go away. Hey man, what are you talking about? We're fine. <laughs> are you serious? Do you really think that? Of course. Of course I do. We're, we're fine. We're totally fine. I don't know. God. Oh. God, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just being crazy. I'm sorry. I'm just being crazy. I know. Don't pay any attention to me, okay? We're fine. Everything's totally fine. Feel a lot better now. <laughs>
dog's in distress. Yeah. Tanya calls it separation anxiety. She does hate to be left out. Hi. Mm. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Hey, how far are we from Bagby Hot Springs? Oh, you're real close. I think. I've never been there, but... It's around here somewhere, maybe 10 miles away. We might have a little map printout in the back. I'll check for you. Great. And I'll bring you some coffee while you're looking at the menus. Great. This is better anyway. Now we won't be rushed. We can take our sweet time. Need more time? Nope. All right. Hey, can you hang on a sec? Could I get two scrambled eggs, dry toast, and sausage? Yeah, um, yeah, before my call comes, could I get uh, the same as my friend, please, mm -hmm. except bacon instead of sausage, uh -huh. and no dry toast. All right. Wet toast, please. Very good. Not too wet. Just make it damp. Make it... I know. I know. I'm sorry. Well... Well, he thought he knew where it was, but, you know, I remember who we're dealing with. I don't know, apparently we're closing in on it. Did you do anything last night? Yeah, she's fine. Okay. We're super close. I never doubted you, man. This is where we're going. This is where we are? Awesome. Yo, 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 yo. There. On the tree. I don't know how we could have missed that. I'm telling you, man. This is a very special place. If you can't see the little arrows at night, you can't get in. Pickle? Yeah, I'll sort of grew a pickle.
Until it was like a half sour. It was, uh, I guess it's called half sour, where they're they're sort of salty and don't have a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. How you feeling? Good. I feel good. How about you? Feel good too. These sticks. It's only one day a week, but really pulls me out of myself. The kids are cool. They're really into it, and it's fun thinking about carpentry and woodworking in a way I haven't for a long time. It makes you realize how long ago 16 was. So now this, well, what was, what was basically a, a dumping ground is this really happening community garden. I'm so proud of you, Mark. I'm serious. You've really done something. You've really given something back to the community. Uh, I don't know. No, really. I'm serious. It's really something. It's not that big a deal. It's not that much time out of my life. It's nothing you couldn't do if you felt like it too. Not that you don't give to the community. I mean, it's just a different community. This is it, Mark. Cool, this looks fantastic. I hope you like it. these flowing. 
Plug it up. And then, yeah. Oh yeah. Just grab it. Fill up here. And then we'll use this to make the tubs cool enough to get our body in. Just dump it in. You might want to. You might want to refill this whole thing. Yeah. We'll probably want to refill.
man. Yesterday, I wanted to get a notebook for my journal. So I borrowed Pete's bike, and first when I took off riding, and where I was on the sidewalk, there was this old man on the sidewalk too. And I, you know, he was walking, 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 so I thought, oh, I'm clear. And I took off to the left around him, and just then he stepped to the left, and I didn't ring the bell or anything. When I got past him, he yelled at me. He's like, hey, you know, thanks for the warning. And, and I just felt so bad all of a sudden. I felt so guilty. <laughs> so, but it was fine, you know. Never going to see this guy again. But I realized I forgot something at the house. So I rode back, had to ride back by him, looked at his face. I, you know, I felt like, oh, he's so angry at me. He totally hates me. Whatever, can forget him again. So then I, then I want to go, you know, get something to drink. I'm going to go into a little store, stop the bike. When I come back out, I get on the bike. I'm riding. I'm riding down the same street because it's a hill. And I pass the guy again. And again, I'm, you know, I'm just like feeling more and more tense, like... But then I've got a stretch, you know, before I get to the, the notebook store. So I'm like, okay, I can finally move on with my life. Not have this guy. Go down to the notebook store, look for my notebook. It's like 20 blocks. Go to, look for my notebook, come up to the cash register. And I'm buying the notebook. And the automatic door is open, and I look up, and the guy's like walking right into the store, right in front of me. And I just can't believe it. it. And then the cashier woman, I hear her talk to me all of a sudden. She's like, superstar. What? And I look at her, and she's this Indian woman, maybe like 50-year-old Indian woman with glasses and a dot on her forehead. And I was like, what? And she said, Jesus Christ, superstar. You said Jesus Christ. And I was like, no, I didn't say Jesus Christ. You know, I looked at the, the bagging guy, and I was like, did I say Jesus Christ? He's like, just sh shrugs. And she's like, it's okay, it's okay. But I, it, it felt like, I, I feel like I would have known if I had said Jesus Christ, you know, I, I would have heard my voice in my memory like, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Kurt said Jesus Christ. So I was still shaking my head, I was like, I feel like I'm going crazy. Uh, and I'm still sort of tense and everything, I feel like I'm going crazy. She's like, it's okay, you're not crazy, it's okay. And she was really nice. And right when she said that, I, this dream that I'd had just just yesterday morning just flashed on me because the same lady, the cashier lady, was in the dream doing the same thing, basically. Uh, I mean, I wasn't in a store, but I was really upset about something, really totally depressed about something, and, and she just put her arms around me and said, it's okay. You're okay. Sorrow is nothing but worn out joy. I see all kinds of shit out there. Man. Most people don't see it. They don't want to. Hey, what's going on? Just relax, man. Just settle in. All right.
Yep. That was that was awesome, Kurt. I'll call you soon, man. Hold on a sec. Later, love. See ya.
to you, Kurt. I don't know. can take care of the new people who come along every year to join the labor force or to rejoin them. And it doesn't take care of the sharply higher cost of necessities. It's one thing to say inflation appears under control in the aggregate. But when you notice that housing costs, health care costs, and energy costs are exploding, you're talking about things that make up the overwhelming share of the budget of an ordinary family. And so the combination of uncertainty about the future and the pressures on the present uh, create this mood. Now, the White House is well aware of this. You hear the word recovery all the time because they don't dare use the word prosperity. Um, you also see things like these uh, photo opportunities this week uh, from the uh, so-called working vacation in Texas. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, man. Hey, man. Well, thanks, man. Have a good night. You too.